A brief introduction to the background that prompted this video. On January 12, 2024, NOAA announced that 2023 was the world's warmest year on record by far. Before this, in July 2023, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned the era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. Within these statements, there is an implicit assumption that, while it may be accepted that different parts of the globe will warm at different rates, nevertheless, all the globe is warming. It might be conceded that there may be some exceptions where cooling is taking place, but such exceptions would be confined to small and atypical regions. However, this channel downloaded and analysed the NOAA data and discovered a set of quite perplexing and contradictory trends that occurred in various large regions of the world. There are several intertwining components to this conundrum, but perhaps the features that stick out most are the facts that vast and very significant regions of the globe did not experience an unusually warm annual temperature in 2023. And vast areas of the globe are in fact cooling. This channel community will release future videos covering other relevant regions. But this video focuses on the Antarctic. We asked the question, what was the impact of 2023, the warmest year on record, on the Antarctic region? Before carrying out the analysis, it is useful to very briefly clarify the names Antarctic and Antarctica. Both are in the Southern Hemisphere. The southernmost point on Earth is the South Pole. The South Pole is located within the continent of Antarctica. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent in terms of total area. It is 40% larger than Europe. It is a very significant region of the world. The continent of Antarctica is surrounded by a fluctuating extent of sea ice. Sea ice is frozen seawater that floats on the surface of oceans and seas. Speaking simply, it is the totality of the surrounding sea ice extent, plus the continent of Antarctica, that makes up the region known as the Antarctic. A complication to this definition arises because the extent of the sea ice fluctuates month by month and year by year. The extent of the sea ice tends to peak during September and contracts to a minimum, usually in February. To provide a broad perspective on the impact of the globally warm year 2023, we reviewed some long-term and some more recent temperature trends in the Antarctic. Modern record keeping began in 1850. The earliest example of a long term trend in annual Antarctic region temperature is that of 1850 to 1964. The trend in Antarctic temperature over those 115 years was a cooling trend of minus 0 0.1 degrees Celsius per century. There then followed a brief warming. But the Antarctic once more entered a cooling period from 1980 up to 2006, inclusive. The trend over that period was minus 0 0.39 degrees Celsius per century. Another warmer year followed in 2007. We now follow the succeeding trend right up to 2022. This will allow us to quite easily determine the impact made by 2023. From 2007 to 2022, 
inclusive. The Antarctic was cooling at a rate of minus 0.73 degrees Celsius per century. And then 2023 enters the picture. In the Antarctic region, 2023 was not especially warm. It was cooler than 2022. It was cooler than or equal to 10 of the years since 2007 inclusive. And if we look back to 1980, the annual average temperature anomaly of 2023 was less than or equal to 22 of the years since 1980 inclusive. The impact of 2023 on the cooling trend since 2007 was therefore barely noticeable. From a trend of minus 0 0.73 degrees Celsius per century, the cooling trend moved to minus 0 0.67 degrees Celsius per century. We are now able to answer the question, what was the impact of 2023, the warmest year on record, on the Antarctic region? And then to discuss the implications of the answer. Firstly, the annual average temperature anomaly of 2023 for the Antarctic region was not abnormal. In fact, at 0 0.25 degrees Celsius, it was exactly equal to the average Antarctic anomaly over the period 1980 to 2022. Furthermore, and not discussed previously, over the period 1980 to 2023, the temperature of the Antarctic has practically flatlined at a trend of 0 0.03 degrees Celsius per century, as you can see. On top of which, from 2007 to 2023, inclusive, a cooling trend has set in of minus 0 0.67 degrees Celsius per century. These statements are quite plain, straightforward facts. But what of the implicit assumption contained in these statements? That all the globe is warming. This is quite simply not true. It is not true of the Antarctic, which contains Antarctica, the fifth largest continent on our planet. It is also not true of other continents and regions, as our future videos, soon to be released, will reveal. A full discussion of the conundrum posed by the Antarctic region and other regions of the world will make more sense when Future videos are released, which will analyse other non-conforming regions. For now, we will ask some questions that can be discussed when all is revealed. How to explain that 2023 was the warmest year on record globally, but the Antarctic region was not materially impacted? How to explain that 2023 was the warmest year on record globally, but the Antarctic region and other large regions of the world did not experience an unusually warm 2023. How to explain that 2023 was the warmest year on record globally, but the Antarctic region and other large regions of the world are in fact on a cooling trend. These questions will be discussed in more detail in future videos. This channel's next video will move from the Southern Hemisphere to the Northern Hemisphere. The region to be analysed, the Arctic. If you enjoyed this video, you are invited to join our community on locals.org. This link will take you directly to our site.